Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd do a quick basic tutorial on LMMS, which is a uh, DAW or a digital audio workstation or music creation software for uh, Windows, Macintosh, and for Linux. LMMS stands for Linux Multimedia Studio, uh, but as I mentioned, there's a version in Windows and a version in Macintosh as well. So I'm going to show you how the uh, basic program works to create a song in it. And uh, we'll just do a simple song to give you an idea of the basic kind of tools in the system. It's totally free, it's open source, and it's actually a pretty cool program. So before we start off, I'm going to go up to, to uh, right, the, right here, you'll see an icon on the side that there's a little headphones on it. We're going to click on that. And there are some demos here. The first thing you, you want to do just to make sure everything's working correctly is uh, load one of the demos and play it just to make sure your audio is set up correctly and everything. If it's not, we're not really going to go how, into how to troubleshoot it in this video, but you actually go up to edit and go to settings and you can go and set your audio interface. So that might be the problem. Uh, but if you do have problems with it, uh, the best thing to do is uh, Google what the problem is and fix it. Uh, hopefully you'll have no problem. So let's uh, just uh, load one of these and, and run it. So uh, I just pick one of these demos at random. And you can see it's opened up all these different tracks. You can see where uh, this little kind of graphic here on the side shows uh, w what tracks are playing when. And if we just uh, click this play button up here, you can see that it's uh, it's it's playing the music. So um, let's just uh, pause that right there. All right, let's uh, move on now. So we're going to create a new project. So we're going to go up here to file, and we're going to go to new. And as you can see, it sets up kind of a basic uh, a project here. And it actually puts in a few things here for you. It puts in this triple oscillator right here, which is a virtual instrument. It puts in a sample track, a bass beat, and an automation track. Uh, so these are all kind of uh, different things. And just to explain them real quickly, this basically right here is a song editor track and it could be any virtual instrument and if we actually click on it we get like a uh, a uh, piano roll editor here to edit the instrument the next uh, thing is a sample track and that's if you have samples and you can bring them in if you double click it will ask you for a file now this uh, program doesn't actually record audio so if you want to put audio that was recorded over a mic in it uh, you actually have to pull in a file and you can like record the file in uh, uh, audacity or another program and actually bring it in this program is mainly meant to actually create music uh, and beats using electronic uh, virtual instruments on it so that's something to bear in mind if you need something uh, like if you play an instrument and you want a multi-track uh, if you want a simple multi-track program, you want to go to Audacity. If you want something more complex, you might want to go to something like FL Studio or another program. Uh, so this is this is a basic electronic uh, composing software. So uh, it will produce uh, tracks with electronic or MIDI. Uh, it will uh, produce beats for you, and it will uh, bring in samples. Uh, and uh, so it's more geared to creating the music with the computer itself. Uh, so the next thing after uh, the sample track is the uh, beat uh, baseline track. If we open this up, uh, we have in here uh, just a basic kick drum right now. Uh, you can put in here an entire drum set. Uh, this is separates out like your your drum set so you could actually do the entire drum set you know the 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 bass drum the cymbals and all that 
within this song editor here, or you can break it out using a baseline beat editor, which we'll see in a minute. And then the final thing here, which we won't really go over in this uh, video, because it's a little more advanced, uh, is uh, the uh, automation track. And if we open this up, this is actually to create automation. So you can actually uh, drag things down from different tracks. Like say you wanted to do a fade into a track, you could you could actually drag the volume control down here and you can control how the track fades in and fades out or how it pans left and right using this automation tool. But once again, that's a little more advanced, so we're not gonna go into that right now. In fact, what we will do, let's just remove the automation track. We're gonna remove the sample track for now, and we're actually gonna remove this instrument track as well. And we're gonna just start with the bass beat first. Now, if we open up this, uh, if we click on any one of these uh, uh, segments here, it will open up the bass beat editor. We're going to click on the first one. And so uh, if we want to create a simple bass beat, we can put click on each of these things uh, in every four of them, and it should give us this a uh, give us a beat one two three four there we go now now say we, we could cut out these two so it's doing it every two beats the other thing we can do let's pause this we can go over here to presets and go to kicker and it gives us some uh, different uh, options here that are already presets. You can just click on them and it'll, you can hear what they're like. I think we're going to use this one right here and drag it to here. And uh, on the two and on the four, we're going to have the uh, open hi hat. And on the uh, the one and the uh, three, we'll have the kicker, and so it will sound like this. All right, so we'll just we'll we'll just stop that for now. Now, if we just play this, it will keep on going on from there. Or we could actually uh, add more. We could add uh, more measures to it, so it will repeat. We're going to stop there for now. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bass line in here. And uh, what we're going to do on that is we're going to go up here. Now we're going to go back down to this presets. Here are all the instruments right here. Now if you just want to put one of these instruments in and adjust it, you can drag it and drop it right into uh, uh, the... Um, right into the project. Uh, we're actually going to close this because we're going to create a new line right here. Uh, so what happens is we're going to go back to, where is it? To presets. Because this already has the instrument set. So this triple oscillator can be set as many, many, many different things. And uh, let's see what we're going to pull in here. Actually, we're going to go down to this, this one down here, and there's actually a, some presets for bass. We're going to use this bass right here, and we're going to drop it right there. If we click on that and hold it, that's what it's going to sound like. So we're going to go into this first uh, measure right here, and we're going to just put a simple bass line in. We're going to drag that to there. Oh. 
So you just left click and you can drag and adjust those correctly. So this is one measure right here. If we play this, it sounds like this. Sounds like that. So we're gonna stop that. So we're gonna right click on this and go copy and then we're going to paste into each one of these to click on the measure first and then paste it. So we've got uh, four measures of each and if we play this, All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, say we wanna loop this, because if we just play it right now, we'll just continue on and on and on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this button right here to make it a loop, or to loop the song itself. And we're gonna hit Shift and then right click to set the start of where the loop is. And then we're gonna just move and click to right click and you can see it's highlighted in green up here. If we turn it off, it's highlighted in gray. It will loop now. So if we play this. It goes back to the start and it will infinitely uh, loop from, from there. So that's how you can, as you're working on the song, you can work on each segment, each track, you might work on the pattern that you're using. And uh, when you wanna go back to the song as you're writing it or creating it, you may wanna loop it uh, uh, so that it continues to play back while you're working on the different tracks. And as you move along uh, the uh, song, you can make the song as long as you want. Uh, and you can make the loop as long as you want. Or you can just play it through once like this and you'll see that um, like it did before we'll just continue on all right so we're gonna put another track in in that one we're gonna go up to this preset up here which is the bell ARP which stands for arpeggiator and we're gonna drop that into here and uh, the arpeggiator, some of these are arpeggiated, which means instead of just playing a chord or a note, it plays a pattern of notes uh, or from, from either a chord or a sequence. So if we uh, double click on this again, we bring up the, um, the uh, piano roll here. And if I hold, hit this. see as I hold it it's playing a sequence based on the preset all right uh, we could also play individual tones by picking another one of these that just plays individual tones uh, but for this demonstration uh, I'm going to use an arpeggiation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and uh, I'm going to actually stretch this out the full measure here. And I can stretch this out even farther. It's got it's got a reset. There we go. think let's stop this I think if we just have two full measure I think this is the arpeggiation that's and yeah, we'll go two measures with this arpeggiation and uh, what happens if we just go all the way to here let's play this through three measures long just because of the length of the arpeggiation we don't want to really cut it off all right so if we uh, just close this so we have the, the the bell arp right there we're going to right click on this and copy it and then we're going to click here 
paste click here and paste and then we're going to uh, we can just actually left click on this to stretch that out because it's a, a beat beat uh, type of track these once again we have to go and go copy and then click on it and paste it All right, so we've got we've got all that together. We're also going to go up here and we're going to right click over here and bring the loop out the full way. Start at the beginning and let's see how it sounds. So loop. All right, we have a basic song and we've used the basic features of LMMS here to create that song. There are other things you can do within this and more complex things, obviously, uh, but this is just to uh, show you as an introduction. The other thing is we have these windows opened here. We're gonna close those down. As you get a bigger and more complex song, what you can do is you can expand this window out. Uh, it's, it's in this program, it's kind of small, like it was, let's see here, here by default, uh, in other programs you may have used, if you've used other DAW programs, generally it stretches the main window out the whole way, but that's just how this particular program set up, but you can move the windows around the way you like, which you can do in most DAWs. All right. So that's kind of the basic way to use LMMS. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like uh, and uh, let me know if you'd like to see more videos on LMS. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.